you know, something that really impressed me is the career progression that you've had without having a college degree is really quite impressive. And I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about that and, and in particular, you know, if you were giving advice to someone in the similar situation, how did you overcome what is typically thought of as a pretty high barrier to get to, you know, the positions that you've had and to be a tax director now um, in, in that uh, situation kind of what, what did you do and how did you overcome um, probably some objections that people might have given you? Sure. Um, and I've definitely had um, rejections along the way, like no, no degree on the resume, no discussions, obviously. Right. right. Um, I mean, I, I, I think, I think it's really a combination of luck, people believing in me, and drive and determination mm -hmm. like that's that's kind of all it boils down to i mean i had um before i started in to tax i was in like i progressed from like an office manager to an admin assistant to an ap per, like processor to an ap supervisor to a gl accountant even you know and and accounting accounting and math has just kind of come very second nature um, along the way. And, you know, at the time when I joined tax partners, they didn't require a degree. Okay. Um, they were really looking for paper pushers, honestly, yeah. to, to, to not, to not degrade the, you know, the position and opportunity, but it was a, um, it was a high return processing environment to where, you could in the beginning skate on not really knowing and understanding tax data a lot, but you know, it was a case like my curiosity peaked. Like this is something new for me is it's, it's same, but new in the accounting field mm -hmm. and just being able to like dig in and question what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. It's like here, do this and I'm just going to go do it if I'm going to be working on something, I want to know why I'm working on it. Like what, what am I truly working on? Right. So I kind of took it on myself, um, you know, to dig in and learn, you, you know, it's, there's, there's been, there's definitely been areas where because I don't have like that retained degree knowledge, I've had to work a little bit harder. I know right. I've had to work harder. Um, than most. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being able to have the confidence in what I do and the confidence in my own abilities to research and dig and dive and figure it out on my own. Um, and then probably the personal traits of being slightly OCD about things sometimes. <laughs> it's like, this isn't good enough. And, yeah. and you know, just, that, just kind of that basic understanding. I know I am very unique in this field to be where I'm at in the position I'm at with the amount of experience I have without that piece of paper, without the alphabet soup at the end of my name. And I understand what that gift means mm -hmm. you know people people have been willing to take a chance on me and that's really um what's gotten what's gotten me where i am today and, and i agree I, I think a college degree is is something a lot of people have but really when you look at it like i don't remember anything i learned in college <laughs> You know, it, it just demonstrates a drive to succeed. I think a lot of times employers and hiring managers really just look at that as it, it demonstrates a drive to succeed. And you certainly have that and demonstrate that very well, Kelly. Thank you. Yeah, I, you know, there's, I feel like there's a little bit of stigma. I mean, especially in the accounting field and I get it, you know, when you're talking about audits and you're talking about gap and you're talking about, you know, all of the, um, financial reporting requirements of a company, sure, degrees make more sense there. But, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm walking, talking, living proof that that piece of paper doesn't always mean 
as much as it should. But I know, you know, in our last conversation, I did mention that I did want to get my CMI. Uh And I know I've got a lot of work to prove to get the credits to qualify for that without the degree being there. Yeah. But I'm stubborn enough to do it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's great. Um, Well, I would like to tell you, and I'm going to cry. Sorry about that. Um, uh, we have selected you. Oh my God. Of the year. Oh God, Diane, you're going to make me proud. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I am not. I am not. <laughs> I, I cried when I told Sherry too. So, um, <laughs> It's okay. This is normal. <laughs> this is normal, exactly. So this, is, um, this I, <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know. What to, I don't know if I can say something right now. <laughs> you know your your interest and devotion to wanting to share your knowledge. Um, you know, you talked about where you wanted to you know speak and really educate others about you know, an industry that very few people um, have have worked in, let alone have built the expertise in. Um, And, you know, just your real passion for, you know, innovating and solving challenges and um, finding ways to succeed. And that's what we view as being a sales tax nerd. And so we are very happy to uh, have you be our sales tax nerd of the year.